so hello guys welcome to the web technology lab so today we will learn about assignment number two so assignment number number two is having this problem statement that is perform validation of all fields in assignment number one by using javascript or trade query so today we will do the validation by using javascript only and in the next video we'll discuss about the validation by using jquery so these three types of steps you have to follow this assignment that is you have to access all the values of fields using id or name so here in in your uh, registration form you are going to use id attribute or uh, you can also use name attribute then in step two you have to do the validation using using if conditions so here generally we are going to use uh, regular expressions okay for validation purpose then you know, third you have to display the result in alert box or in html output so uh, now we'll start the coding okay so already i have my registration form in html so this is this registration form is already ready so just you have to do one thing here that is inform tag you have to add you have to use one name attribute and you have to provide a name value there so here you will you are providing the name for your form tag okay then in the action attribute you have to provide this value that is welcome.html so after submitting the form you have to redirect your page so uh, which page you have to open so that page link or uh, that url you have to provide here that is we have provided here welcome.html and after that in every input field in every input tag you have, to, you have to use a name attribute because you have to identify you have to access this input field in our javascript so use this so let's consider just for uh, first field first field is a, a username so in this username field i'm adding this name attribute and its value u name okay so this will identify this field as a u name uh, which is used for username so this way you 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 can uh, provide the uh, name attribute names for every uh, uh, input field here like uh, for password I'm, i have used here upwd same for other fields you have to do okay so this is your registration form now you would apply the validation on this on this registration form so we'll create one .js file that is javascript file so here i have already created validation.js file so here to start with the uh, uh, javascript you have to write for first function okay so write a function keyword so I'll write function in javascript you have to write a function keyword and then followed by that you have to give your function name so here i will provide a name that is validate so this is my function name so inside this function name i am going to define or uh, declare my variables and my other conditions so first of all we'll identify we'll access the input fields by using their ids and names so here i'm i'm preferring uh, names because it is very uh, easy to use so in another video i will tell you about how to use uh, how to access the input fields by using id attribute so here i will discuss about name at name attribute by uh, accessing the fields by name attribute only so here uh, uh, let me show you that i have used a form tag name here okay so i have given name to my form tag with the help of name attribute so that name attribute i have to use here okay first of all so i'll access okay so i will declare a variable so in javascript remember you can declare a variable with the help of var keyword or you can also use let keyword so these two keywords you can use for declaring a variable in javascript so let's consider i will use a let keyword here so let i'll use first value that i want i want to access that is username so i'll use the same name that is your name is equal to now i want to access that value that field so I'll first uh, write my form name because this is the form inside this form I have defined my username field. So stdreg, this is my form name. After that, inside this form, I am having a u name field. Okay, so this my you can see that my input field, this username field, is having a name that is u name, so that I can use here. Then dot what i want to access here that is i want to access value so you i can write value property here again i will use that keyword and for next 
I'm having a password field, confirm password field. So I will use here uh, UPWD is equal to STDRET dot UPWD dot value. Okay. So same thing I will do for next field that is confirm password. So I'll write here just I'll change here with the, the this name that is CUP uh, CUPWD and here i will again use copwd okay then after this i'm having a next field that is first name and last name you can see uh, the first name field is having a f name name and last name is having a lm name so i will use here again let f name is equal to stdreg this is my form name then my field name is f name and what do i want to access that is value so let lm is equal to std reg dot lm dot value okay so after that i'm having a, a radio box uh, so right now i'm not going to use here radio box so uh, better i will directly use that uh, i will directly access that radio boxes radio buttons in my if condition so uh, i will skip it and i will go for next uh, field that is email so i'll write here i'll write i'll write that is i'll write let q email is equal to std reg dot u email dot value okay then after that the next field is the next field is that is you know that the next field is course so for course I, we know that the course is a select here course is selected from these options so it's a select box here so i'll write select um, new course is equal to stdreg dot the name of my select field here select box is new course dot selected index so why do you use selected index because whenever i choose my this t se comp option or t comp option it will return a value so if i choose select class uh, this is by default selected so it will return a selected index that is zero and other indexes will be according to that uh, index that is zero so se comp will have one index t comp will have two index and b comp will have three index so here i'll access that index selected index now after that after course i'm having a mobile number okay so i'll write here let u m o b n o is equal to std reg dot u m n o dot value so here i have access the value of all the fields by using name attribute by using a name identify here so that i have done now i will do one thing here so i want to uh, just declare one variable also flag is equal to i'll write it false okay this will be used for our if condition and then after that i will define a str variable i will declare a str variable it's a blank string i will consider here then i will uh, declare a variable for uh email validation okay so so you know that here we uh, we are accessing the value of email field but here you want to check whether your email id is valid or not so for that purpose we'll declare a variable and in that variable we'll assign um, the regular expression so right here let e filter is equal to right right I'll write your regular expression. I'll write your regular expression in this way. You can see first of all forward slash two forward slash and after that uh, this caret symbol and then dollar symbol. So after caret symbol, I'll take a bracket. Okay. Uh, in that brackets, okay. In parentheses, I will use square brackets. And in that, I will write a to z, a to z, zero to nine. So this specify that the states that your 
email id should have these that is upper case or lower case or, or numbers okay this so the, these character should be in your email id after that i'll write here backslash back your email id should have, will have a uh, dash okay so, uh, if you directly use dash here it will uh, interpret into a symbol special symbol so if you don't want to interpret uh, as a symbol, special symbol uh, you can use here backward slash okay so i have used backward slash and then uh, sorry uh, i've used i will use underscore okay then after that i want to use another character a dot because there may be a dot in your uh, mail id then third character that is dash so these th three characters may be in your email id so that we have uh, used here in this expression now after that i will attach a plus symbol that will uh, match the preceding uh, input okay okay that is the preceding uh, expression so the whatever this preceding in uh, expression is here this will be matched one or more types here because here we have used plus okay so after that uh, our mail id will have at the red symbol so this will match the at the red symbol in our mail id and in brackets in uh, inside the parenthesis again i will write a to z a to z 0 to 9 then backslash dash so after at the rate there may be a domain name okay so the domain name will have the format of at the rate gmail.com or at the rate hotmail.com inside that see the gmail will, may have these characters okay so that we can use here this expression okay so this will match these characters only with your email id then we will go further okay so here i'll put a plus symbol because it uh, the preceding uh, you have to check this preceding expression and then again you write a dot you have to match a dot also okay so after this this uh, host name there will be a dot and then you will use a uh, the domain name that is com domain dot com or dot gov okay so that domain uh, it will identify okay so it will match with that domain also so here after this again i will put a plus symbol because i want to again match this whole expression so i have put here plus symbol again and after this plus we'll write again parenthesis in that parenthesis i will write a square bracket again i will write a to z and a to z 0 to 9 okay then after this outside this i'll again match the maximum and minimum length here so 2 comma 4 so the preceding expression will be checked and it will uh, it will search for the match for that characters many at least minimum two times and maximum four times okay so that we can provide with the help of this 2 comma 4 in curly braces then i'll put one plus sign here because i want to match this whole expression so this way you can write your email validation regular expression so this is a little bit tough but if you uh, read it carefully you will understood it you will understand it perfectly okay now after this we'll start with the condition so i'll start if first so first i want to check you name so you name i will call one function that is streaming because if I enter uh, white spaces here so it will discard that white spaces it will not consider that white spaces as a character so that purpose I will use here trim function equal to equal to it is blank okay so if it is blank it will do uh, what it will set the flag to and then after this it will attach the string to the original string okay that is username should not be blank okay so this is my first validation for username it is blank then after this i will put one again if condition so in this if condition i'll use 
my next field that is my password field two password fields are there so first of all i will check whether my password field is empty or not so u p w d then is equal to okay again i will use trim equal to equal to blank and c u p w d dot trim right again equal to equal to blank then or if this condition gets true then it will go for the next condition okay so here well i will check whether my enter password and confirm password uh, are same or not so i'll write here upwd upwd is not equal to c u p w d okay so if this condition is uh, got satisfied then flag equal to true so i use true flag here i will set then str is equal to again i will attach the string with the output again so here i will write password is blank or does not match so this is my next if block and in third if block i'll write the third field that is i want to check here so after that i'm having third field which is the third field we'll see okay so here my third field is f name or that is first name and after that i'm having a last name so i'll check whether that both both field are empty or not okay so right okay or other thing you can do here uh, that is you can use uh, your regular expression if you don't uh, if you don't if you want to allow only characters okay uh, so that you can also do here so this way you can do that that is uh if what is the name of my okay so th that is a version uh the name of f is so that you can do with help of but there you have to put your again uh, the you have to de declare the uh, regular expression again a uh, variable you have to like declare here now uh, just let me uh, do that thing here so right here l car so i'll write l car is equal to again i'll write carrot then dollar symbol so after that i'll use okay so i'll use here i'll just use e to z capital e to z i will not allow i'll not allow the other characters here so I'll not allow other characters I'll just allow e to z and a to z that is uppercase and lowercase character so this I will do here so I'll do here for first name at least so I'll write here l car dot test so you can test with the help of test function here and then I'll write l cap oh sorry this is not l cap this is l f name okay so I'll write f name here so if it is not if it is get not satisfied means if it is uh, get true then i'll do one thing that is i'll again print flag is equal to true i'll set the flag true then str is equal to all right first name should be first name should be in characters only okay so this validation i have put here so don't forget to give semicolon so everywhere you should terminate your statement with semicolon so now these validations i have done here after that the next validation i want to do that is of ln so there i will just write ln 
dot trim i will just check whether it is blank or not okay so flag equal to true str plus equal to so why we are doing this thing because here we want to we want to display all the errors all the validation errors at the same time in a single alert box so for that purpose we are using multiple if statements and inside that we are setting the flag true and we are attaching the string we are concatenating concatenating the strings with each other okay so now new string i will concatenate here that is last name should not be blank should not be blank okay so this is my next error after that if what what is the next field the next field is my password field okay so sorry not password field after that after first name last name there is a gender field so how to check whether your gender is selected or not so here i'll write stdreg dot gender of zero and access the first value of gender with the help of gender of zero index then dot check equal to equal to false and stdreg dot gender i will check second value with the help of one index dot check equal to equal to false okay so here I'll again say it fly equal to true then str plus equal to okay here I'll write oh here I'll write uh, gender is not selected so gender is not selected then after that the next field that we want to check is email this is very important now email course and mobile number we check email first so you you if you remember i have already defined here an expression regular expression the same regular expression we are going to use here for matching purpose this will write here i'll write if write the variable name of my regular expression that is e filter dot test i'll test with the with which uh, string you, you will uh, match it so i'm already having the u email here variable with that i will do the testing of my regular expression so here again i would i would like to put explanation mark because we have to make it true if it is false okay so here i'll write flag 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 so again here i will write flag and set it to then now after this again str plus equal to here i'll write email is not valid okay so after email there is course if you course equal to equal to zero okay so if you course let me just verify you course oh yes you course equal to equal to zero because it will return a selected index zero when it is uh, it does not select any other options so here i'll write a flag equal to true then str plus equal to I'll write here course is not selected then if and final is mobile number so now we'll do one thing we'll write uh, we'll use one function that is is man 
so is nan is a function that determines whether a value is number or not okay so i'll write here an a n inside this i'll write this variable name that is u mob number so this is my variable number u mob number okay so this i will check whether it is a uh, it is a number or not okay or i will do one thing that is i will check whether my u mobile number u mob number is length will again use the property that is length is less than 12 if it is less than 12 means so just uh, by adding country code it becomes a 12 digit mobile number so that i have used here 12 okay so inside this okay i'll set flag true then str plus equal to i'll write here mobile number is not valid okay so here we have done all these things we have put all the validations okay now after this again one if loop you have, you have to use there you will just use flag because everywhere you have set the flag too and then here call the alert okay so here i will write a uh, warning and then plus str so that we will do here there will return false and outside this i'll return true so that it can re redirect the page so this is about your javascript code now we'll try to run this code and we'll see the output so I'll run this code So this is my registration form if i click on submit button okay so it is going on next page so i want to restrict this redirection so how can i restrict it again come to the code here okay in html code and here in form tag you have to add the event that is on submit is equal to on submit is equal to return what is the function name there that you want to call here that is validate this is your function name validate okay then after this you have to link your javascript file with the html file so go to in head tag the right script tag and script tag start the starting tag right src equal to the file name that is dot js file name that is validate dot js okay so this way you can link your dot js file external dot js file with your html file and then you can you have to add the on submit uh, event handler here so i have added that event handler already here i will run it so click on submit button now you can see that it is showing all the errors here so the username should not be blank password is blank or does not match first name should be in characters only last name should not be blank gender is not selected email is not valid course is not selected and mobile number is not valid so all these validations are coming here inside the alert box so when i enter suppose my name okay and if i click on submit button now it is discarding okay it is not considering the username uh, validation because it, it becomes true now so it is checking for password okay if i okay so before that last small modification i will do here in the code so we are we are okay here in warning i'll write slashing for new line okay so here i'll do one thing okay i'll refresh this page so you can see that when i submit it is showing all the errors okay so i'll type my name username so click on it is going for next fields okay next remaining fields so i will type password one two three here one two three 
so it will go for next errors okay so here you can see that if i click uh, if i uh, enter the password of different length length in both uh, fields password fields and click on submit button again it will, show, it will show password is blank or does not match okay so that validation is checked here one two three now i will write my name suppose Bosch. then i'll write my last name then i'll i'll click on submit button now it is showing i'm saying first name should be in characters only okay so here why it is showing first name should be in characters only because we have done what here Elkar dot test f name okay so we'll do one thing here okay so it is showing first name should be in characters only so already what we have used here i've used a to z and caps a to z I'll put here mark okay i don't know this now we'll check abc abc abcd so some push submit button okay so the entry is not selected okay email is not valid Gmail. If I enter submit button, email is not valid again. And if I use Antosh at the gmail.com, now it is not showing the email error. Now, if I select the course, it will not show course error. If I enter the mobile number like this and click on mobile number, is not valid because it is asking for 12 digit only okay less than 12 less than 12 digit so if i enter 2 3 4 5 okay so again it is showing mobile number is not valid so 1 2 2 4 2 6 2 8 9 10 11 12 so it is just showing the first name should be in characters only so here we have entered it is not showing okay so first name should be in characters only it is showing error so better way we will remove this i'll remove this i will explain it in another video so we'll replace with the okay so f name dot trim okay i will check whether it is blank or not okay and then first name should not be should not be blank okay so now here if you refresh okay now you can see all the errors are showing here when you enter data one by one on uh, on all the errors will be gone all the warnings will will gone okay so if i enter all the names now see all the values here uh, I will enter password one two three one two three. Then my name suppose okay. Then I enter okay. Then enter gmail dot com. Then t com suppose and okay. So five seven six three seven six. Before that I will add nine one. Okay. If I just see if I add plus here. So what will happen here? Okay. It is accepting see this way my page is redirecting okay so this is about your assignment number two of where we have done the javascript validation on all the input fields so thank you for watching my video if you have any any doubt regarding this assignment you can post in in, in the comment section so thank you for watching video bye bye